And Dr. Hugh Ross. Yes, well, I'm an astronomer. I did research on quasars and galaxies at Caltech, and while I was there, a, past, or a church put me on their pastoral staff, and that church helped me launch Reasons to Believe. I'm the founder and president of a science faith think tank that develops new reasons to believe. All right. You say that you don't think blood moons play into the significant events of 1948 and 1967, and that these moons of 2014 and 2015 cannot have any prophetic significance. How certain are you of these conclusions, and why? I don't think there's any statistical significance to the blood moons. Blood moons are very common. We get two lunar eclipses every year. Sets of four are common, and uh, hey, it could be sets of three, four, or five. It's statistically uh, a certainty you're going to find some historical significance to any set of blood moons. Now, I do think there are signs we should look for, but I don't think the blood moons is anywhere near the significance level that we should be using them as a sign for end times prophecy. How do you explain the four blood moons happening exactly on Passover and Sukkot in two sequential years as happenstance? Well, my point is you're going to find some kind of coincidence. Uh, it's going to line up with some significant event that pertains to the Bible uh, or to uh, historical events in Israel. Given all the significances you can find, given the fact that you can go with four blood moons or three or five, you're going to find something that fits. It's simply mathematically inevitable that you're going to find a concordance. Now, I would argue, however, that there are things that the Bible tells us we should look for as signs. Not something as common as blood moons, uh, but for example, it tells us in the book of Revelation, an asteroid will strike a significant water body and poison that water. Uh, and, you know, so this is a significant event, it's a rare event. My problem with the blood moons is it's not rare. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's hindsight. You're looking at different events in Israel's history and uh, looking at different events in America's history, and you're finding uh, fits. Why the attention on America and not Israel? I mean, these blood moons are visible here, uh, but not in Israel. Is there a reason why the attention is focused? Very here? scientific question, if yeah. you notice, and it's a good one. Why isn't the blood moon showing in Israel? Yeah, I mean, we can see them here in America because, you know, a total, solar, a total lunar eclipse basically is visible to about one-third to one-half the earth. Is it because of our role as friend and defender of Israel? Is that why we have such a... I don't have an answer for yeah. why Israel can't see it. Yeah. yeah.